uh, we have a couple of mini sermonettes that are going to be done. And the first one is Brother Luke who's going to come up and say a few words in 10 minutes flat. And uh, Brother Luke, come on. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Lord. Amen. Let's stand up and pray first. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, God, Lord. God, I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, Lord, for this preaching, O oh God. Lord, God, you know, Lord Jesus, God, our hearts, O oh Lord. And Lord, you know, God, that, Lord, I can't preach, O oh Lord, by myself, Lord. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that, God, whatever's, Lord, you want to put on my heart, Lord, to preach, that, Lord, you would put it on there now, Lord. And I pray, God, please, Lord Jesus, that, Lord, we bless this preaching, O oh Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, O oh God, that, Lord, your anointing would be in this room, O oh God. I pray, O oh Lord, that, Lord, whatever, Lord, word you want to come out, Lord, it would come out, Lord. I, I pray, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, humble our hearts today, Lord, as your word goes out, Lord. I pray, O oh Lord, that, Lord, whatever, Lord, you want to be spoken would be spoken in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. The prophet Jeremiah said that the word of God was like a fire shut up in his bones. Amen. He said that when he wanted to preach, amen, to the Israelites, that backslidden nation, amen, he was afraid of their faces because God said to him, he said, do not be afraid of their faces, amen, lest I confound you before them, amen. God does not want lukewarm evangelism. God does not want lukewarm preaching, lukewarm worship. God wants us to worship him with our hearts and our souls and our minds. For he said in his word, amen, he said that the first commandment is thou shalt worship the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind. Amen. When I came into this room this morning, amen, I had a great burden, amen. And all I did, I just said, God, help me. And I got down on my knees and I said, God, forgive me. And you know, when you get down on your knees and implore God and say, God, I'm not worthy. God, I can't do this. God, God, help me a sinner. That's when God can work in your life. Not when you're proud and arrogant and you stand up and say, I can do it. I know what to do. But when you get down and worship God, then God can move in your life. Then God can begin to do something because through humility, amen, God moves. God cannot work on a proud heart. He cannot work on a proud mind. God needs humility, amen. And when he was speaking to Jeremiah, he said to him, he said, do not be afraid, amen. He said, for I am with you, he said. He said, go and preach, amen, to those people. And you know what happened to Jeremiah? He went to prison, amen. He got locked up, amen. And when, amen, uh, they were coming, amen, Nebuchadnezzar and his army, amen, to destroy Jerusalem, the only man that got out was Jeremiah, amen. And I think of another prophet, uh, I forget his name, but basically what was happening, the king of Israel, he wanted to go up to fight against... Um, I think it was the Assyrians or something. And all the prophets around him were saying, go up, go up to uh, whatever the place was called and fight against them. And they were all false prophets because it goes on to say that there was one prophet, amen, one little man. He probably wasn't very famous. He probably didn't have a lot of money, a lot of things. I think it was Micaiah or something like that. And he went up to King Ahab, I think it was, and he said to him, no. He said, do not go up, amen, to Ram of Gilead, because if you go up there, amen, you're going to lose the battle, amen, and you're going to die. The king was listening to all these men. He had all these yes men behind them. They were all saying, yes, go up, go up and fight, go up and do that. And there was only one man who was prepared to stand for the word of God. One man who was not going to be a yes man along with all the others behind the king. One man who wanted to go up to the king and say, you know what? I had a vision, amen, from the Lord. The Lord showed me if you go up and fight, you're going to lose the battle, amen. Because the king, he, he wasn't sincere, amen, with God. He wasn't honest. This uh, King Ahab, he was backslidden. He was a sinful man, amen. And you see what happened. He went into the battle. He disobeyed the prophet of God. The prophet of God was put in prison. He went up and he lost the battle, amen. What am I saying? I'm saying, amen, if the Lord does not tell you, amen, to go, if the Lord does not say go, it says 
Woe to the prophets who run and I have not said to them run. Woe when you try and do things for God and God is not there behind you because the fact is if God is not on your side, amen, what can you do? But thank God, amen, we're in a church. Thank God we're in a place where we know God is and we know that the power of God is here. The power of God is not in ourselves. The power of God is not in us to preach. The power of God is not in us to sing. The power of God is only there when through humility, amen, we allow the Holy Spirit to move in our lives. Amen. And praise God. Let's just hold on, amen, to that humility. Let's not forget, amen, that we can't do it without God. And thank God, amen, for his blood. Thank God for Jesus Christ. Thank God, amen, for the church. Praise the Lord. Let's give a hand clap, amen.